What's going on, everyone? This is Michael Stewart Isaacs. And this is Shemek Ebony. And welcome back to Sunday, Sunday Stacks. Stacks. Yes, yeah, Sunday Stacks back again and excited. We are just really getting into our groove, right? Mm-hmm. We're finding our space here in Sunday Stacks. Mm-hmm. And we are so grateful to you, the listeners, for telling us what you want what you need from us in regards to this content and what's missing, right? That's the key here at Sunday Stacks. Our goal is to find a platform that we can talk to the world about what we call FCC, family, Mm -hmm. community, and company. And that's our motto in regards to just being able to inject love into people's lives. We, you know, we started this whole series talking divorce talks where we were challenging people out there who are second chances like me and Shemeka, right? We we met each other after divorce and we met each other in community. We met each other in so many ways that other people would normally look as a challenge. But every step of the way, we, we made a commitment to ordered steps and we made God the foundation of our relationship. And I think that's what makes it all work. Absolutely. I am so appreciative to be on this journey with you, to have met you in community. And we... Uh, give each other space to heal together. And our divorce talk may have scared many, like, uh, I don't want to be anywhere near that. But the truth of the matter is, even since we put that seed out there to be a help, to be a prevention or rescue ranger for others, and some we've seen an, uh, an increase of divorce talks, but the talk is that the person's getting divorced, you know, so... I I believe we are still in this sensitive season where people aren't communicating well and strongly. And I'm I'm appreciative that every day we begin our morning being intentional with communicating with one another. I love it. And I think that's the commitment to ordered steps. And I think that's what we're here to do, right? We're taking a deeper look and a deeper dive into Sunday Stacks. And we want to get to what's underneath the surface. I think part of our continuous effort to grow this podcast and really connect with you, the audience, is to really allow for you to understand who we are. We always do these check-in moments, right? Checkpoint, right? Something one of our good friends used to always say, to really allow for our audience to know our motives, understand what the motivations are. And I think that's part of what we're going to go through this whole episode is just talking about the motivations for things. So let's start with ourselves, right? As a family, we're motivated by the the credos of what we call our House of Stuart Isaacs, our ability to stand and really know that what we stand for as a family, our name, our reputation, who we try to support and who we show up for matters. Mm-hmm. The deeds we create in this lifetime matter. And we make sure that that reflects not only into what me and Shemeka have done as, again, a second chance couple who had to make a new kind of commitment Mm -hmm. if we were going to walk this thing out that God called upon us to do it. And yes, I said, God, I said, Jesus, I said, Holy Spirit, I say Trinity. I give you all of what I know has guided me through these ordered steps when I could have been left for dead. I could have been, you know, drowned in a bottle somewhere or, you know, high off my ass somewhere. Excuse the French. But God rescued me. And he sent someone perfectly and well designed to hold me down in times when I was going through transition. And sometimes when people are going through transition, they want to be alone. But God gave me what I would call my clone. Someone just like me, someone evenly yoked, something I prayed for and asked on to the Lord. And he gave me a person to walk with me. And we created things together, and particularly this Sunday Stacks was born from that relationship. If anyone understands it, years ago, Shemeka created an event series. I was one of her invited guests that she knew through community. And that right there spun into a journey of relationship, friendship, and partnership that's birthed a, a radio series that over time and just the flow of knowing each other's cadences, we built a relationship and now fortunately a family. Yeah. Yes, and I'm so appreciative of the journey. And it was, you know, just my commitment and focus that I knew that if I were going to be in partnership with someone or committed uh, as in life, in marriage, that they were, they're going to find me busy. They're not going to find me waiting, sitting somewhere on a bench. 
Um, I'm grateful that his pursuit aligned with where I was in life, that we were able to cross paths. And, you know, we've been on that long walk ever since. We were just reflecting recently um, how intentional we are with uh, the assignment that God has given us and how we show up for people, how we come to events. Those are ordered steps. And I think today is very timely when we think about our FCC, our family, community, and company. We're a living model you know, featured in the New York Times uh, that reflect what bringing those all together and not compartmentalizing, separating them, because it's that separation in relationship that causes wandering, that could cause discourse to cause the dismantling your family, community or company connections. So why should you continue to enjoy Sunday Stacks? Well, first of all, week after week, our goal is to show our own personal growth and improvement. Some people say, man, how can they talk so clearly and so consistently? Why? Because we live this. We allow for ourselves to be not just host of a podcast, but host for God, for God's word, for the essence of not judgment, but love. You're going to feel the love here in Sunday Stash. You're going to feel the love in our family when you look at any of our content across the I Am Brilliant Network, yes. right? We, we've been launching the Brilliant Bunch yes. with our young so kids. Our so excited. They've been doing commercial shoots, shooting for companies <laughs> like Lay's and Pepsi's, and they're just pushing hard to find opportunities for themselves. And they're so smart, and they just watch all these other social media YouTubers. We're not pushing mm-hmm. this on them. They see our business acclimate and what we do in our companies, but they're applying it to their generation and they're eager and they actually like the content that they're now creating. So, you know, but we're guiding them and we want them to focus on like STEM and other things Mm -hmm. to continue to improve. And we're saying that as parents who have a child who's actually the top of his class in a bilingual school environment, you know, so. It's a proud moment to know that when you speak life unto people, when you walk in an order step journey, when you feel like you've been beat down by the world, God can create a second chance for success. So do not give up to anyone out there who may feel like they fell short because of a bad relationship or a breakup or anything. God can give you another second chance. We ain't relationship experts. We just experts that be in this family that we've become, this brilliant bunch, this house of Stuart Isaacs, you know, individual entities but strong together, working together in support. When, when I need a manager, Shemekka's there for me. When I need someone to press record on my recording, Shemekka's there for me. When she needs someone to press record on her recordings and her work, I'm right there for her, holding the camera and ready to go. You got to show up for the ones you love. And again, watch our content. See the things we've put out there across our platforms. And you'll see how we interact with our kids. And, we, and this is about showing the reality yeah, of our we life. Are not- an anomaly like we're showing what's possible but we all have some way that we can illuminate uh if you need a blueprint you're not going to always find a forerunner but you know i believe we're forerunners for second chances that are committed to uh designing god's way you know and i'm grateful for that part because it really helps us um show people what they can do for themselves not that they need to do anything like us or we, our love for each other is just so unique that it's just a one and done. No, we can all have this with one another in relationship. I love but it, it does deal with us beginning that journey internally uh, within us. So, you know, if you need some support kind of looking to within yourself, we got you. Just check out while I'm getting naked dot com and kickstart your journey on being able to motivate an opportunity to shift some stinking thinking you may have so that you can let let it go and get naked, strip it of your mind, your thoughts, and your, the voices in your head and expectations that you may not be meeting and just get that reboot you need. So definitely, whileimgettingnaked.com uh, is where you can go to get your own journal and, and let's connect offline and, and build some more together. I love it. And I think, that, again, it's very impactful because Shemekka is a spiritual author, right? Like we're, we're, we're defining this 2024 season a little bit differently, right? If you understand who you're getting when you call her out to become a speaker and sit on your panel, you're getting a spiritual author. You're getting a person who's an activator. You're not going to leave the room the same. She done knocked the hinges off of several other rooms prior to coming to your room. And now she's ready to give you more than just motivation and inspiration. She's showing you what it takes to be a builder of men, a builder of women, 
all the same. We are one and the same, needing of healing, needing of affirmation, needing of this I am brilliant confidence mm -hmm. that we've been fostering. I thank Shemekha for her leadership in my life as a husband, as a partner, as a man, just really showing me what I could do to be improved and better. Getting a person like me out of the strip clubs or those type of environments that weren't edifying my energy, but showing me what it really means to be spiritually faithful consistently and the impacts of a long walk and a commitment of covenant to God. This woman has given to me in my life, and I just want to be honest and authentic into that truth that in relationship men you have to give up some things for a better virtue and mm -hmm. i am grateful to be a testimony of that better virtue mm -hmm. for the things that i thought once was covenant or something i committed to is no longer serving me and it wasn't healthy for what i want to truly be a part of in regards to my oaths to god and i'm grateful to a wife that he's brought into my life that challenges me but in a healthy way in a way that helps me grow and she allows me to use all my gifts and talents with no restriction to gender roles, any of that foolishness, but we both show up for each other to support what we need. So as we quick transition, let's take a quick break. We want to thank again, shout out to Shemeka's book because she helps us keep this, these lights on, selling these books out here. So y'all definitely go check out that website while I'm getting naked.com where links will be in the bio. Also, we always like to thank QuickBooks. Um, grateful to them, uh, Intuit for what they have been able to commit with us in our partnership and our affiliate marketing and what we're doing. So again, shout out to Intuit. Check out the Entrepaganda site. You can find it all through our different various platforms on Instagram, as well as make sure you click all our different YouTube channels. We got the I Am Brilliant channel, got some great content up there. The Brilliant Bunch, please support my sons. They they need it. They want it. They want it so bad to be up here and building their YouTube channel and creating some great content for you all, as well as definitely we got the What Makes You Brilliant series coming. So we chasing you down, celebrities. So don't think we stopped. But like I said, you check out our campaign, you'll see the amazing things this movement of I Am Brilliant has been able to do, and we're just going to continue to bring the vibes and really just, you know, give people energy, give people this activation spirit that, you know, is led by my beautiful wife, Shemeka Ebony. So, um, and also shout us out if you ever see us in the streets with the Shemeka Mobile, honk your horns at us, yeah. let us know you're a fan of the show. Um, we're just grateful for everyone out there that has given us the energy. Um, we're based out of the great state of I Love NC, but at the same time, we travel all and up and down the country. So we definitely um, want to continue to let you all know the Schmecker Mobile is out there. Me and Schmecker out there as speakers, and we're just grateful for the opportunity mm -hmm. to speak into your life and really show you what God can do for you in all your situations, in corporate, in, in your, your personal lives, just anything. There's so much out there. So again, we love working with people. We got a lot of free content and out there on our different platforms just to continue to inspire and really see work, you know, the activation of what God can do in a transformed life. So definitely, um, you know, feel free to be edified. So as we want to keep things relevant, you heard about us, you learned about us. Now we got to give the people what they want, <laughs> you know. So let's prepare for our Wiz of the Week, Wiz of the Week, Wiz of the Week. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, bring the vibes. Give it a moment. And we're back. Yes, the Wizard of the Week. Yes, I had to take this dramatic pause because this Wizard of the Week is a little different. Guys, we have an attack going on in our community, right? So again, Sunday Stacks, we are the FCC. So there's some levels of regulatory approvals that we like to create here in our show and on this podcast. And we want you to, in the comments, let us know. But have y'all seen what is going on out here in the political world? Now, normally we don't touch politics because we, too, are company owners. We are capitalists. We like the way the American system functions to allow for people to have a choice to purchase what they desire. But at the same time, we have to do better in regards to how we treat one another in regards to this unity movement that we're about with this I Am Brilliant thing. And some people out here don't think we quite as brilliant. As we know, our community is. So let me elaborate what I'm talking about. They're like, what you talking about, Mike? I'm talking about what's going on in regards to the Donald Trump campaign. And when I say that, I'm not taking political sides in this conversation or telling you how to vote or any of this stuff. But what he has now done in the Republican Party in regards to their communication efforts with black Americans mm. has been less than genuous, you know, <laughs> you know, genuine, courteous. I don't know what I, I'm just lost in the fact that Donald Trump could have all these legal issues 
still be so supported by his party, beating Nikki Haley, all the primaries. We're aware of what's going on out there. We watch all the pundits. We're paying attention. But at some point, instead of really having substantive conversations with our community, particular blacks, they're playing a game of, I guess, point shaving um, in regards to against Biden. And again, let's remember everyone out there. We're in a democracy in regards to having elections, but ultimately we're in a republic when it comes to how decisions are made and how the branches of government are structured. So we have to better understand how all of this actually works. And when it comes to a president, we don't actually choose a president. But right now we're in the middle of a game because they know the person at the top of the ballot allows for you to come out to then vote for a bunch of other people. And when you get that ballot, you think it's going to be the, the Republican president versus the Democratic president. And then there's a bunch of other human beings listed on a sheet that now you have to choose this party antics of who to choose because you don't know their name. You don't know their reputations. You don't know the businesses they've owned. You don't know the families they've come from. You don't have any diligence done at all to your democracy. Ooh, I like that. No diligence to the democracy. And right now with the games that are being played politically, again, I'm not telling you what sides to choose. I listen to all sides. I'm a unique individual. I'm actually listening to everyone's the pundits, but I do see the gross disrespect and the, the mission of no unity by all parties. And this is what we want to really foster here at Sunday Stacks, right? Me and Shemak have built up a little bit of a reputation and we've worked with a lot of powerful people. We're just giving a little bit of friendly advice <laughs> in regards to communication to my people, right? I love all people. I want unity in the world. I love cultures. I love experiencing different people's culture. But yes, my shape, my form, my, my existence in this world is a pro-black man. But love all people. But want my people to no longer be left behind in any capacity, whether through our own actions or other people interfering constantly in how we choose in this community, how we choose in this country, how we choose in our states. And so for that, we need to start to improve the conditions of how we allow for politicians to placate to stereotypes. As a motivational speaker, one thing I speak on is the hatred of stereotypes. And I hate to use the word hate, but sometimes people will lock the thought of another culture, another people into a stereotype instead of getting to know the individual. Mm -hmm. And it's hurtful over and over again to not realize that people out here have real issues and concerns. And sometimes we are tricked into a lottery thinking that somehow being famous, being an influencer or all these other mm -hmm. foolishness is going to say or a, a president savior is going to come along and save us from the, the oil prices and all these other things that affect us day in and day out. The food prices, interest rates. I mean, Mikey could talk to you about it. Come call me out to your places. I'll give you the insight. But I'm explaining to you the more critical notion of these this whole campaign that you see by the Republicans to play a stereotypical overture to blacks people in America just for point shaving, not to really talk to us in any critical way, not to tell us you care about what we care about. I mean, you already know they're a party that's getting rid of critical race theory because they feel like that's a threat to the psyche or the conditioning of young white kids more than they're worried about the, the massive mass shootings that are going on by primarily young white kids that are going on in the country. Instead of prioritizing these cause and effects, you're scared for something because people are trying to tell a, a truth about the history of our country so we can truly acknowledge all people and start a new way of building from the foundation of this country where everyone has an opinion. Everyone's causes are considered. And I think that's something we can grow. So with that, I would love to hear your input, Ms. Shemaka Ebony. Have you seen what's been going on with Mr. Donald Trump? Yes, it seems like a, a playbook out of Willy Wonka. Wow, <laughs> Willy Wonka. She said that. And the golden ticket. You know, we got to look at it. Like for every person that buys that pair of shoes directly has uh, put money in the hands of an individual uh, political struggles, uh, campaigning, uh, fund their cri well, uh, criminal and uh, civil uh, monetary um, 
uh, I guess, debts that he has that you are directly contributing to for, again, what it seems like is clout chasing and being able, to, you know, we have to stop being the jester in the room. Like, um, we turn this stuff into a popularity contest without knowing the history. So, overall, this isn't about... Uh, I hate Trump. I just people need to do their research, like for whoever you vote for, like do the history search yourself. Not no, don't go to your your local social media outlet or these large scale media companies that are all manufactured by their own whiz behind the curtain. And you would know that, too, if you did your research. So um before you go out and, and decide who you're going to vote for, not only research who they are, find out what are you going to do as a an active, engaged citizen in your community that also votes to be a part of the change that you're voting for to support whoever you're supporting. Don't make this a popularity contest or because somebody paying you on the table to go and sign people up for voting in, in the community. Do this because you've done the research, you've done the history, you know, the person's spirit and their heart, not just their outward showboating cast of being the best person with the best story uh, in, in ready to win the best political pitch competition. Like, go deeper and hold yourself accountable and let that be the legacy you lean into. Let that be something uh, your legacy later in life will be proud to have you as an ancestor for what you've done. So uh, I would say, uh, yes, don't don't fall into the trap of going after your golden ticket um, of being signing up to be ridiculed by uh, a person that has been identified as racist, uh, sexist, uh, rapist. Uh, And so many other things, Uh, the bad business person, like uh, you could keep going, Um, but he's been successful being the president of the United States. Are we going to allow this to happen again? Or are we going to look at what we're going to do to get more involved in our local civic uh, engagement commitments in our community to make sure that we can be a part of creating the environment that we want to be a part of and be proud to look at in history that we made that change. And we have to hold all these leaders, again, the top of the ballot. We have electoral colleges that actually choose who becomes a president per state and who gives out those votes. So again, the goal is not so much about Joe Biden versus Donald Trump, who's old, who's yeah. this. It's about understanding what truly is going on in your community and how the different yes, local. local governments are being affected, your regional government decisions are being affected that are going to help you as we talk about company, get those loans you need, be able to have the federal funding and the startup monies you need towards your your business that's going to help improve your community or be able to scale to create greater jobs for people out there within our country, as well as what we do in engaging on the international stage. There's a lot of international issues and crises going on, and people are drawing conclusions from all of these things, not realizing that what we do in our family families and what we do upon what we do individually with our our prayers to our God in heaven, who you worship, you know, in the sense of that connection to help ground you in ordered steps and not feeling powerless. That's why we say I am brilliant, because you have to be the light in dark places when people need you, not someone wearing shiny gold shoes to get attention at the nightclub or anything like that. But you have to be the light in dark places not wearing bling bling or shiny teeth to get attention. Gotta come from you got to come from within. And again, I'm not trying to knock anyone, but we see so much to do that's again still doesn't take you out from being a showboat clown with a red nose, regardless of how you want to see it, regardless of how many women you sleep with, regardless of how many houses and mansions you got. You're still a glorified clown with a red nose if you don't understand how to really go deeper. And ask God, what are you calling me to do to down? Can you see yourself as a celebrity? I, no celebrity impresses me. God and what he calls in me every day and the growth I experience week for week, which we want to continue to reflect here on Sunday mm-hmm. Stacks, is what I measure my days and my weeks by and how I stack up. And I encourage you all out there to do the same thing. 
stack up with us every Sunday with Sunday Stacks. We appreciate you always listening to us and growing with us as we continue to grow the podcast. We look forward to growing and expanding to more platforms. But right now we're here on YouTube. So make sure you click that like and subscribe, yeah. uh, you know, button. It helps us grow the show metrics. And we want to, again, ask you to tell a friend to tell a friend. Share it on your LinkedIn. Your, your, your Twitter, your what, X's, you know, share it on your Facebooks, you know, to maybe take a picture of it and put it on. Shemeca does great artwork every week for we we work hard on this podcast. I don't want to take away from that. So we really need you all to support it. Again, no political packs or funds have given us any money towards this podcast. We're just speaking our true, genuine public constituents, you know, citizen opinion on what we're seeing going on politically. We would love to unpack any more of what you all feel about it in the comments. We want the engagement, so please come. You know, we want to grow. We want to understand this is a unity conversation. So, you know, if you're going to be politically divisive, hey, we understand. But at the same time, we're going to show you only but love because that's the goal here is for us to figure out how do we get to a, a, a latitude of love and not get caught up in old ideas and dogmas, but entrust the brilliance in all of us in this existence today to create new ways that we can all find greater unity and joy from one another yes, so do your research do your research so as always we won't hold you forever sunday stacks continue coming week for week we're gonna wrap up as we always say i am brilliant yes, and you yes, are too yes. thank you again for this edition of sunday stacks and we look forward to seeing you next week peace